So I don't know if you guys saw this, but one of our weekly contributors to One Rental at a Time, Taylor from Life Goal Investments, shout out Taylor, our Monday stock market guest, put out a Instagram post uh, here in the last 24 hours talking about his great frustration with the notion that you know millionaires or wealth is created in recessions. His basic opinion is, hey, recessions are where people focus on staying above water and it drives him crazy that uh, people talk about building wealth in a recession. He and I will be talking about this on Monday, but I just wanted to give you my two cents because I do believe that wealth is created in a recession. Not only can I look back on my career, but I can look back on other, at least real estate investors who took the opportunity, the knowledge, the focus to wade in to a cycle that was crashing and pick up assets on the cheap. Now, obviously, if you follow my channel, I do not believe you're gonna get this opportunity in any great numbers in single family. You may get some deals in tertiary markets, some Airbnb markets, there could be opportunity. But I see great pain coming in multifamily office retail. In fact, Ken McElroy, who once upon a time created a video saying that housing was gonna crash 40%, which of course I reacted to and disputed and have been proven right. He actually went ahead and deleted that video, which I thought was a kind of a weak move. But more to the point, he is now talking about the commercial pain coming. He did a video recently, which I thought was outstanding because let's be clear, Ken McElroy is a big dog. He deserves the respect, my respect, your respect, when talking about multifamily. It was probably always outside his realm of experience to try to talk about single family. But now he's talking about commercial, commercial banks, and just all the pain coming. He's now painting a vision, much like uh, Jonathan and I did, where we took a $25 million building and quickly turned it into an $8 million building. You can go back and look at Jonathan's playlist for that. The pain is coming, and to me, that means opportunity. Jonathan and I talked yesterday about how do you grow your network? How do you find these opportunities? You have to get a buy box. You have to communicate, meet bankers, meet agents. You know, you have to do the work. Frankly, some of you need to go buy this hat just to remind yourself or the stickers, but I digress. So at the end of the day, I think there are gonna be some amazing opportunities and a lot of wealth created in this cycle. Frankly, I think San Francisco ultimately will eventually hit bottom. We will see buildings like 350 California trade at crazy discounts, maybe be converted from office to residential. There's going to be billions and billions of dollars created and that is because of a recession. So Taylor, I'm coming for you. I already sent you a text. We're gonna battle this out. It might be true for stocks, but as far as real estate is concerned, you get to build wealth in a recession. It's just how it works, man. I don't know, uh, I don't know. If you really wanna read somebody's story, go read Sam Zell. He, uh, he operated during the SNL crisis and he became a billionaire because of taking action, massive action, obviously, in a real estate recession. And then lastly, let's not forget, you have the opportunity to talk with the Lumberjack Landlord, Dion Talk, Millennial Mike, and myself, Sunday, May 21st from eight to 11. A lot of you have portfolios, a lot of you feel stuck, a lot of you are getting started. You need to join this event. I am a little shocked that at $47, this didn't sell out in three or four days. You do have an opportunity. I think we got about 50 seats left. I'll put the link below, but you gotta join this event. If you feel stuck, you're gonna get three hours consulting from folks who have over 300 units. Who You, you know our stories. I don't need to share with those. But at the end, I think real estate investing during a recession is the way to go. I think we only do great deals, good deals. 30-year fixed rate debt, cash flow, all of those things. So at the end of the day, uh, have a great weekend. Take care of yourself. 
And don't forget there's Mother's Day on Sunday.